we just happened to be touring with Nirvana the week before their unplugged thing. And um, Kurt Cobain is like, hey, Kurt, why don't you teach me some of these songs that I like to put on, one of the sh- put on the show? And Kurt was like, um, OK. And then we never really got the time to do it. And uh, Kurt was under a lot of uh, pressure of his own from his major label. And he eventually he was like, you know what? Why don't you guys just come? And so the boys came on the show. And that was pretty much all our label needed to uh, put all of their eggs into our basket. And um, so they promoted the heck out of uh, out of Too High to Die and Backwater, which was all very well and good until, of course, uh, Kurt died. And then the next thing you know, we're on TV like five times a day for like a month. And people people kind of got sick of us and we got uh, somewhat associated with uh, Nirvana. And now it's just like, forget about it. It's like uh, meat puppets, footnote to Nirvana's career. And then um, then we get into our own drug problems. And uh, the, 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 the record after that, was mired in you know trouble internal troubles plus the label wasn't really behind it and um you know the uh the 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 alternative style music was um losing favor and um the boy bands and the girl bands like uh they they were coming into into popularity so you know eventually and not to mention the fact that the labels were consolidating and uh, all getting bought out by um i don't know seagram's uh or whatever um munitions companies were buying them record companies the next thing you know there's like three majors left and then napster comes around and nobody can make any money anymore 